Hello, I'm Matt, and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about Crack Key Method Hydroponics. And you can see from this particular picture that these plants are growing in nothing more than water with a little bit of hydroponic solution. They have enough water and food to last the entire season. Once set up, there's no other work that I have to do for these plants to continue on to harvest. You can see that I started out with 27 gallon containers. They're a little bit sturdier than what you typically find in a store and they are also UV uh, resistant. So they do stand up a little bit better in outdoor situations. I established a layout in my greenhouse, spaced the uh, totes to allow plants to have room to grow. And I use a large level because I want the uh, maximum amount of water in the tote and if it is uh, on a hill and it's starting to lean a little bit it just reduces the total amount of water that I can get into one of the totes. Sometimes I take wood shims and slide underneath the corners of the totes. It's a great tip. The uh, wood shims are available at most hardware stores and they only cost a couple bucks. It's a uh, wonderful way to be able to balance out the totes. After I get the totes leveled I fill them up with water, not completely to the top, because what I want to do is make sure that there's only about a quarter inch to a half inch of water in the net pot when I pop the lids on. In this picture, you can see that I've put the yellow lids on, and in the center, I have 3.75 inch net pots, and those are just dropped through a hole that I drilled through the lids with a hole saw. And the water level is adjusted once the lid is popped on. I don't even have to pull that lid off. I can just spray water through that net pot until it comes up to the appropriate level within the net pot itself. For this experiment, I'm going to be featuring tomato plants. I started some uh, tomato plants in my arrow garden in my office during the cold spring weather. And now that they're of an appropriate size, I'll be moving them out into the uh, garden. To get them out of the uh, arrow garden where they've been growing using circulating hydroponics, I just pull the uh, plant with a little white grow basket and all, pop it into a uh, plastic bag to preserve the moisture around the roots, and take that home with me. Once I get that sack out into the garden, I can extract uh, each of those plants, insert them, uh, white basket and all, just drop them right down into that 3.75 inch net pot. And then I uh, fill around those white baskets with oh, whatever inert material, you know, that uh, I have around because all it is doing is uh, providing a little bit of a stabilization around the plant to hold it in place. It is not a grow media. The uh, roots actually grow through the uh, sides of the net pot down into the nutrient solution. And as the summer progresses, they use up all the water and plant food in that tote. Uh, at the end of the season, you could pop that lid open. You'll find that there's practically no solution down in the bottom of the tote, but the uh, roots have become quite massive as well as the plant. In part two of this video series, I will be showing how these two tomato plants progressed over the season.